Should you watch Transformers 1? Here's my quick spoiler free review to help you decide. If you like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, or want to see a more accurate portrayal of the Transformers franchise, or enjoy an entertaining action adventure, you'll like this. Is it a good film? It was okay. It was visually well animated and had a great score. The voice acting of the star studded cast was decent, with some noticeable choices I'll get into in my spoiler review. And there was a character arc of one character which was surprisingly effective and impactful. Overall, though, it is an anything new. You've seen this film in different flavors before, but it's still a well-executed film. Is it an entertaining film? It was alright. It was a fun time because of the quick pace and explosive action, as well as some fun visual gags one can only get with Transformers as their characters. I could find enjoyment in this, but it's a Transformers movie through and through. There was one audience member who loved the movie, and you could tell that this movie was portraying something dear to him really well. But if you're not into Transformers, you won't enjoy this as much as those who grew up with them. Unlike some franchise films that managed to be widely entertaining, Transformers doesn't feel as accessible to the general audience. It is heavily submersed into the existing and establishing lore of its franchise, which is great for fans but not as welcoming to those who are not. This is a common problem in most franchise films. Marvel and DC are popular ones that are affected by this as well. I've read a few comments saying that this film is the Spider-Verse film for Transformers. It is not. It's more like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Speed of Mayhem, a film targeted to younger audience to welcome them to the world of Transformers while paying homage to those who grew up with them. So, should you watch this? Yes, if you're into Transformers. You would also appreciate watching this in theaters with other fans. But if you're not a fan, then it's a pretty average film and you can wait until it's streaming to have it play in the background one day. I give Transformers 1 a 1 out of 3. There is a, I don't know, like a pre-credit scene, which was fun. And there's also an end credit scene, which hints to a sequel. You don't need to watch anything else to enjoy this. Although I'm sure if you've read the comics or watched the show, you'll appreciate any callbacks, references, or adaptations that I'm sure I missed. Follow and subscribe for my in-depth spoiler review of all things Transformers 1.